Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought we were gonna take out the front end of the car. I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Motorsport 7. We are staring down an Evo 6. We're not going to be using that right now. So there was a huge force feedback update to the game, and a lot of people have been talking about it. So we're here today to get my impressions on it. A little bit late to the force feedback game, but have been a little bit busy this week, as you guys may have noticed the lacks of uploads, but uploads are back. And uh, I'll make sure I get some more this weekend for you guys as some bonuses during the weekend so that... Uh, you know, to make up for my lacks of during the week. So there was a big force feedback update, and uh, a lot of people are saying they like it. A lot of people have been saying that they don't like it. So we're going to get my impressions on it today, and then we're going to do a drift build either on the Evo 6 or maybe a Boss um, S14. But to test, um, to test it initially, we're going to go to a car that I know also well. That is my Vetti over here. So we're going to go into a single player game. And then we're going to send it. I'm going to show you guys the settings that I'm currently using. And then uh, we're going to find a nice track to go to. I'm trying to think. Uh, I want to drift something we haven't drifted in a while. Hmm, Silverstone sounds good. So we're going to go to Silverstones just to get an impression on this force feedback. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys my wheel settings that I'm currently using. And we're going to go from there, see how they feel. We may have to make some tweaks to it and, uh, well, see if we can't get it dialed in. So a lot of things I've been reading and hearing about the force feedback update is it's uh, not as stiff as it was before. Some some say it's a lot, um, it's a lot different. So we're going to go from there. We do got the wheel cam turned on. We are rocking a Logitech D920, Alcatara, NRG Innovations wheel, hydraulic cam brake, and our normal H pattern shifter for today. So wheel settings. Before we get into driving, we're going to go to options, go to controllers, go to advanced. So this is what we're rocking for our wheel settings right now. We have vibration scale turned off because you do get vibration in the wheel with the force feedback. We're at 120 force feedback scale. Lining torque's 120. Mechanical trail is 120. Uh, pneumatic trail is uh, 100. I turned off road feel and wheel dampening scale. Centering spring left at 100. We are on 900 degrees and steering linearity is at 50. So the road feel, you still get some road feel from force feedback. This I turned off to see how it works and we're gonna go see how it feels. We may change some stuff around, but this is what we're running right now. If I don't change it, this is the wheel settings I'm gonna be running for a while. So just to give you guys an idea on what wheel settings I'm running in uh, my G920 right now. And uh, well, we're just gonna go send. We're gonna go full send. That backfired though. All right, so. We gotta warm up our tires a little bit. So, I just noticed that the wheel did kind of get a little bit of a self steer help, and it does feel a little bit lighter. I feel like the smoke is a lot thicker too. So, we're just gonna go uh, full send on this and see how we do. So, the wheel does feel lighter, doesn't feel as stiff, and I feel like there's a little bit. I'm just trying to see. Like, if there's some self... It does feel like there's a little more shelf steer than there was before. Yeah, I can kind of, like, let it go, and it kind of it, it kind of goes. I don't have to help it as much. So, the wheel does feel pretty good, actually. I don't know if there's much tweaking we're going to have to do. That feels really nice, actually. So first impressions on this uh, this update of the wheel feel um, feels pretty good. Not gonna lie, just trying to feel how this feels right here. Feels pretty good. So now we're just gonna go in full send here. As 
a little bit offline, but probably wrong gear too. Oh, don't shift into fourth. So I do like how this new wheel feel, how it feels. So I do want to test something out real quick with um, that road feel and see what the difference would be if I had road feel up to say 80. So I'm curious what road feel feels like on 80. The cool thing is we can adjust it there. So road feel is more the cracks, the bumps, and like stuff like that, you get the little jitters and the uh, quick like bobbles in the wheel. So, real long eBay crab. So that does feel pretty good. I feel like it took away a little bit of that self steer and it makes the wheel a little bit stiffer actually. So I feel like I liked the other, this a little bit softer feel. I mean, this still feels really good. It does feel a little bit stiffer. It kind of feels more so like it used to. But we are just shredding it here right now, though. I'm so okay with this. So, the wheel update feels really good. I've actually uh, excited that they made... Probably, that's probably way too early. way too early <laughs> but we got it though i'm super excited that they made this force feedback update it does feel so much nicer and hopefully it fixes a lot of the uh people that were having a problem with the wheel at the last update who just could not play the game for some reason i didn't really have a problem with the old up the way the wheel felt i feel like it's has a little more control when you're in a slide I'm just trying to throw it out to see. So I think we're going to turn that road feel off. We're turning down some more. Keep going back to the controller because my X button doesn't really work too well right now. So I think we're going to run this down to about 40. So this is where I'm set at. This is kind of comfortable for me. This is a good basic feeling for me. Um, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, I think it's time to build a car. I think it's time we build a car and uh, shred a new car. So uh, switch the camera off right now and then we're gonna change up tracks because I feel like I wanna drift someplace else with the new car. Prague, Nuremberg, Seca, Maple Valley. So indecisive on where I want to go right now. I think we're gonna go Prague. Prague's a fun track to drive. So we switch up to go to Prague, but we're gonna build a car before we do that. So I'm debating between the Evo or a Boss S14. And if we do a Boss S14, we're gonna probably do a Turbo Rally motor. If my game would not be frozen, it would be sweet. The love of the my Evo 6 in uh, Horizon. A bunch of you guys have that car. So we're going to build one here. See if we can't get it to uh, handle just as good in uh, Forza 7 as we did in uh, the Horizon game. So we're going to throw on street tires. We, we kept them at 245 in the rear, 245 in the front. I'm really trying to remember... This is going to be a completely different tuning setup in this game than in Horizon, so. Because we also don't have the wheels I want. I'd be super sad. There they are. There's the wheels I want. So, before we do any further, we should probably make sure we can put the motor that I want to put in here in. We can put the 1.4 Rally Turbo motor in, which I already put it in. 
So I wonder if it's going to sound just as good in this game as it does in Horizon. Or if it's going to sound better. So we're going to do a full blown out build on this. We're going to have to convert it to rear wheel drive. It was already converted to rear wheel drive. So we're good. I believe I started to do this, but I didn't finish it. So now we're here. We're going to build this thing up. Full max power on this uh, on this car. Some brakes. Some race. Some drift suspension. Too bad I couldn't import my paint over here, otherwise I would. Get some sways in here. We're gonna hopefully get this car to handle just as well with the new force feedback update. Game. Forza. Forza glitch. We can't get as much power in this one? Oh, we can only get 542 in Forza? Huh. That's interesting. So you can't get as much power in Horizon as you can, uh, or in Forza 7 as you can as in Horizon. So that's going to make this car totally different. So we're definitely going to have to hopefully uh, get the uh, suspension dialed in right. We can leave everything how it is first to see how it feels. Any roll bars. I'm going to soften those up a little bit. And we're going to we're gonna make this car pretty soft. We're gonna soften the spring rates. Of course, we're gonna drop it as low as we can go. We're gonna raise our rebound and our bump stiffness. And then we're gonna go with some tandem style brakes. We're gonna drop this down to 90 and about a 55 and we'll see how this feels so hopefully this uh this feels pretty good so we're gonna go uh full send here at uh at Prague I don't think it sounds as good as our uh Horizon 4 counterpart but we're gonna go full send. This car's really sliding. But for out of the out of the gate, I'm quite happy with this. Oh, I don't know why we put the handbrake there. We didn't need to. Was a really hard chuck. Oh, we broke our tail light. Wrong gear, completely wrong gear for that section. So, throwing it forth. There we go. Now it feel, that feels a little bit better. Oh man. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> I thought we were gonna take out the front end of the car. Oh my gosh, that was a little scary. Oh my. Now check the fourth, throw that in there, a little left foot braking, stay on track. I do love how the new force feedback feels. This feels really good. I'm having a blast with the Zeebo. Oh boy. So definitely having a lot of fun with this update we're gonna roll down there for a second and uh now send it this thing has so much lock i thought that was gonna go completely wrong way but this thing has so much lock that it can just save itself on those aspects Let's do a little first person i don't know what's floating i think that's my neck Oh boy, save that. I don't know how we saved that. I was not sure where I was going. I can't see where I'm going. Oh, we made it. 
What? Came out clutch with that. Here we go. Dude, I'm having a blast with this feedback update. And I'm definitely having a blast with this Evo. It's super slidey. Not a. Not sure uh, why it's so slidey, but it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7 with the new Force Feedback update. Give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know how you feel about the feedback update. I know I'm a little late to the uh, to the update game, but I've been a little bit busy, so I do apologize. But we are back doing our uploads. We got some Torque Drift coming, some other games as well as well as uh, a different style well, cam for you guys. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for watching and coming back to all the videos. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys next time.